What's up, YouTube? So, before we start the video, I just want to say thank you for all the support on um, the last few. Uh, it's been fucking killer. You guys are awesome. And yeah, we were, we're gonna grind out like, like two or three videos a week. So, we're gonna keep this flowing, and I really hope you guys enjoy it. So, today's video, I'm gonna show you guys a shake that I drink every day. Um, if I don't drink it in the morning, I tend to get it in like right before bed. I kind of like drinking before bed too because it's chocolate. And it tastes really fucking good, so it's like, I don't know, it helps the sweet tooth a bit. But yeah, um, this is the big guy for this shake at least. He's the uh, one of the main ingredients. And then it's partner in crime. We got the chocolate uh, greens. Um, really like these. Uh, they're really good for digestion and it fucking helps to get your green intake in. So, <clears throat> next guy, the oats, of course. Bro, it sounds empty. It's like, no, we're like halfway. Okay. Yeah. I don't know, I'll usually do like, like 80 to 100 grams of the oats. What is that? I think it's like 50 carbs or something. But not OD on carbs. You hit your protein, or at least you, it helps you hit your protein for the day. Uh, with that, and then the greens. Helps you poop better. Shit, huh? Helps you poop better. And it helps you poop better. So I was gonna show you guys how to make it, but it's only three ingredients, so I think you guys can kind of figure it out. But yeah, I already made mine. Uh, I'm like halfway done with it. Now, <laughs> I'm gonna finish this, and then me and Grant are gonna head to the grocery store. Um, hopefully we find something cheaper than Publix, because that shit's OD expensive, but- Bro, didn't you just go to the grocery store? Dude, I did but it wasn't like a full haul. Is all the food gone? This might gone? be like a full haul. Is all the food gone? It's not all gone. Okay. We still have a bit. Okay. Um, so yeah, we'll see you guys there. There's one. What are you gonna do with that? I'm gonna eat that bitch. Yeah? That's all we're doing with it. Are you sure? <laughs> 100 percent. Ah, uh, I should probably get bananas. I'm gonna grab some bananas. What are you gonna do with those? I'm gonna eat these as well, bro. Um, Sus. Shrimp? No. Is it in your plan? My plan? Well, bro, I'm make it fit stick the to plan. the plan. One or two. How much do you eat? But it's, it's, Bro, it's gonna make a fucking mess. Don't drop it. I probably will. Just crush that bitch. Poor buddy. I need like cereal. Soup. Cookies. No cookies. I'll get cereal. Now. Brownies. No brownies. Bakery goods. I'll get one of these. You want one? Yeah. You know what the next investment is for you? For me? Yeah. What's that? A wide angle lens. Oh, I should get one. I'm sick of this was... 50 mil bullshit. <laughs> yeah. Bro, I was thinking about getting a whole new setup, like a new camera, mean? too. Bro, this is a great camera. You're dumb as bricks. What camera would it's, you. It's just a bitch with that one because the screen doesn't flip up. Yeah. It always flips like. Okay. Boo hoo. Oh, sorry about that. I'm weird. This is my favorite cereal, like in the I remember world. being a child. It is so fucking good. Bro, I don't know there's no is. flavor. Yeah, I, I don't, it's bland as shit, but I like it. That's another thing you do. You don't put sauce on your fucking chicken. Should we get the cinnamon one? You almost forgot the waters, man. Almost forgot the waters. What? The brain is clicking today. No, it's, mm. it's never clicking. <laughs> All right, so we just got here. Um, we're about to hit some chest and delts. Yeah. I just figured out that the three P and the pineapple is fucking amazing together. So try that out, Code Vaughn. But yeah, chest and delts. Grant really hyped up this, hyped up this gym, so um, we're gonna check it out. Hopefully it's good, and uh, I'll catch you guys out there. All right, so let's jump right into this shit. All throughout high school, I really fucked up my shoulders playing baseball, so before every training session, I'm stretching them a decent amount to improve mobility and prevent injuries. Here we're doing a banded chest and lat stretch, really to open up the muscles and take as much tension off the shoulders as we can. I try to prioritize shoulder health because if they're fucked, your entire upper body is going to be lacking, so keep your shit healthy. 
As always, I'm starting off my chest there with a fly movement, pretty much just to get as much blood flow in the tits as we can, and so we can start to feel the muscle really good. We're starting out with a pretty light weight, and we're doing higher reps to feel and activate the muscle, but don't worry. We're not bitches. We'll be going heavy in a few sets. And I'm always doing some dumb shit in the gym, so if you ever catch me looking at you like this, don't fucking take it personal. Just fucking come up and say some shit to me. It's dumb funny. Once I'm starting to feel good and find a weight that I want to do my working sets with, I'm going to crank out 8 to 10 reps going as heavy as I can for a couple of sets. I really like the as heavy as you can for as many as you can style of training. So for the majority of my lifts, I'll try to do something like this and fall within the 8 to 12 rep range. But once I'm done with the flies and my tits are feeling nice and pumped, we're going to head to my favorite fucking machine of all time. Most of you motherfuckers are scared of this piece of equipment because um, you think it makes you look like a bitch, but shut the fuck up and start using it. Here we're going to pump out some warm-up sets and then jump right into some heavy ass weight. We worked up to like two and a quarter, but we got a bit sloppy, so we backed it down a bit. The biggest thing with pressing movements is your form, so pay attention to that shit. So you're going to want to pin your shoulders back and down, keep your elbows tucked, and stack your joints. Pretty much by doing this, you're most importantly going to prevent injury, but you're also going to isolate the chest by eliminating the front delt, and you're going to get the most out of the movement. Here I'm doing a burnout set right after some heavy ass weight, and since we're on the smith, push yourself till you literally can't get the bitch off your chest. From here, we're sliding over to the wide grip hammer strength, and since Grant's always jerking off behind the camera, I gotta load all the fucking plates. For this, and literally all your pressing movements, make sure your chest is up, and really feel the stretch on the negative of the movement. When you're pushing through the movement, rotate your elbows outward to really feel a good squeeze at the top, and hold that for a second, just so you know the feeling. Like I said before, don't be afraid to go heavy on these machines and push yourself to your fucking limit. If you don't look like you're about to shit yourself like I am, you probably could have went a bit heavier. And once you get a pump, rip your shit off and get fucking serious. Here, we're doing some light. All right, sorry. Here, we're doing some light side laterals to get a little more blood flowing through the shoulders, but right the fuck. Here, we're doing some light side laterals to get a little more blood flowing through the shoulders right before our pressing movement. Since this is literally the third press of the day, we're fucking fried and we're keeping it light. We did three second negatives with a three second dead stop for high reps and it was absolutely fucking brutal. But since I really need to grow my baby delts, we lined up a superset right after this with rear delt pulls and Y raises. For the rear delt pulls, make sure you use a wide grip Pull through your elbows and pull out towards your head. This will isolate the rear delt and it'll feel really fucking good. For the Y raises, check your ego, drop the fucking weight, and really focus on the squeeze here because that's what you want. Grant thought it was a good idea to follow this shit up with another superset, and so we did. Honestly, at this point, I couldn't feel a fucking thing, so we just pushed out a hard... <laughs> Literally, all we did here was jump back and forth between chest flies and face pulls and fried our fucking chest and rear delts. At this point in the workout, the main goal is to burn ourselves out, literally to the point where we cannot go anymore, so it's important to go to complete failure. Like, don't be a bitch. Push yourself. To top this bitch off, we did some cable raises to really get the delts pumped one last time. These are a true favorite of mine because they keep tension all through your delt through the whole movement, and they just feel really fucking good. I like starting with a heavy ass weight for these, and we just did one big ass drop set going to failure every time and dropping that bitch as we go and they hurt like a motherfucker if you feel like you can still keep going pump these bitches out until you can't feel your fucking arms 
All right, so that was a chest workout. Our tits and delts are absolutely fried. So we kind of switched it up and we did like a more informational, kind of like instructional video just to like pretty much show you guys like how I built this physique. A lot of you guys have been asking like specific workouts I do and that kind of shit. So if you liked it, let me know. Like, even if you didn't like it, let me know what the fuck you think about it in the comments. Drop a like. We're about to go jump in the sauna because we're fucking dead and uh, probably give like a quick pump for some photos. And then we're gonna head back to the house, devour some food, and we're calling it a night, so. Dude, my legs are so fucking sore and these stairs are not fucking it. Why did, <laughs> why did I get a fucking upstairs apartment? Every leg day, I'm gonna have to climb up that bitch. Ruthless. Oh, fucking baby. That looks, oh my god. Don't even get me started right now. If it focuses. Oh, bro, it looks so good. You already know. Game changer right here, baby. Look how fucking good this looks. Oh my, chicken and rice with some ketchup. Oh, bro. Is this better right here? We're gonna find out. All right, so we're back now. This is, uh, I think it's meal number four. This is a post-workout meal. Before I dive into that though, you motherfuckers have to drink your water because I've been slacking all day and I still got, I gotta drink this whole thing, probably like a half, but dude, it's already nine o'clock and I'm gonna be pissing all night. But um, another thing you gotta do, with every meal, especially when I've been cutting, I've been noticing, I'll take a glucose uh, disposal agent, uh, obviously from Revive, uh, code bonds for your boy, um, and then like a digestive aid. The glucose disposal, it helps you store the carbs in your muscle as glycogen, and it really aids in like fat loss, especially when you're trying to cut down. And then the digestive aid, um, obviously just promotes digestion and when you're like eating like a really high protein diet uh, your stomach really can't process all that protein and break it down by itself so that and then the daily greens really helps like get this shit moving helps you poop you need to poop um so yeah i take that for every meal and i'm about to dive into this one. Oh, i'm so excited for this um so yeah we just hit uh, chest and delts and do we absolutely smoke them um, I'm really trying to up my training right now because in I think it's like a little under two weeks we're heading to Alpha Land um, we're doing like a pop-up shop thing with Anaka um, which is gonna be really fucking dope we're gonna meet a bunch of dope people um, so yeah I'm really excited for that and I want to look uh, semi-decent um, for that so Right now, I'm really trying to cut down. Um, so I'm like basically, for that, just cutting down. Um, I'm dropping my calorie intake. Um, like I cut the carbs and I'm playing around with like the carbs and the fats right now. Um, I'm gonna up my cardio a bit. And obviously with the cardio, I'm taking the Ignite Fat Burner. I've do that after taking that, like for the first week, I've noticed that when I wake up in the morning, I'm like really dry. Um, I, I'm not sure if that's just like, um, like uh, me holding water or not, but I feel like that's really been fucking helping me. And uh, yeah, just in, in general, I'm so fucking hyped for that trip. Hopefully I meet a bunch of you motherfuckers there. Fucking chicken and rice with some sugar-free ketchup. About to go down. That's really good. I really fucking hope this is focused. I'm gonna be so disappointed when I look at it and it's not focused. This is so good. When I eat my meals, I usually eat all the protein first. I don't know if it's like a superstition thing or if this actually works, but I'll eat the protein because that's the first thing going in the gut. And with the digestive aid and like the glucose thing, I want this shit to break down before the carbs because this takes longer to break down than like rice or like simple carbs. So like I'll, I'll just eat this first. I don't, I, dude, honestly, 
I, I can't understand why people complain about eating chicken. Like even when they're not prep, this is the best source of protein you'll ever fucking have. Maybe besides like salmon, but chicken is fucking amazing. And I, dude, I don't know what they're feeding those fucking chickens or like what kind of steroids they're putting into those chickens that I get the chicken breast from fucking Publix. But those bitches are literally bigger than this plate. Like, it's some juiced up chicken. But, yeah, I should have got. The best way to make it, you get yourself like a salt free, um, hopefully that focuses like a salt-free um, seasoning with just like a bunch of spices. And then if you don't have an air fryer, get one of those because it is the simplest way to cook chicken. Like you can literally forget about it and your chicken is gonna come out fine. Like when you cook chicken on the grill, you kind of have to baby it and like watch over it the whole fucking time it's cooking. Because if you get a dry, like a dry chicken breast, you're definitely not gonna wanna eat it, especially on fucking prep. But with I the, the ninja one, you literally, it's like two air fryer baskets. You toss the chicken in. I'll set that bitch on for like 18 to 20 minutes or something. I'll fucking go take a shower or go like fucking go on a walk or something. Actually, don't go on a walk. Your fucking shit might burn down. Um, probably not, but it's definitely not the best idea to leave it unattended. But I'll go do, I'll fucking go jerk off or something. And uh, this shit's going to be done. Um, and it's gonna be fucking perfect every single time. So yeah, I'll use the uh, the no salt seasoning, a little pepper, throw it in there, 18 to 20, on roast. Let me tell you, that's some good chicken. I actually lied. Right now, uh, I can't really say that I lied per se, but obviously chicken is my number one. Sam is probably my number two or number three. And then, this shit, right fucking here is a cheat code. Um, the vegan chocolate protein from raw. Um, obviously go on. No, that shit is so good. Um, especially cause like, obviously I've mentioned that I'm cutting down like 12 times already. And I'm sure you guys can process that in your head because I clearly can't, uh, I'm really fucking hungry. I'll eat that. And like I said, but fucking early, I think it's in this video, like earlier in the video, I'll have that with my green shake and like some oatmeal and shit. It's literally like, like dessert. Like you can put that bitch in the freezer or you can just drink it straight up. It's like fucking chocolate ice cream. It's, it's so good. Uh, dude, I hope I'm not slouching right now. I probably look like a pig. I'm so tired. That's one thing that I really want to fix is not fix, but just get better at my fucking posture. Cause like, Bro, some of you motherfuckers, you walk around <laughs> looking like a fucking a hunched over banana and shit. Cause like when you're hunched over like that, like all the time, your body is not gonna work correctly. Um, like your shoulders are gonna be rounded. Um, your chest is gonna be tight. Your lats are gonna be tight from being hunched over and shit like that. Um, so if you're like, Damn, this is a fucking rant and a half. I mentioned at the grocery store, just because I'm fantasizing about fucking um, like cereal right now, because I would honestly fuck some up. Let me know what your favorite like kind of cereal is, because um, like right now, mini wheats. Uh, I'm just trying the chocolate life, because um, I feel like that would go like really good with the protein. Um, so yeah, like mini wheats and the chocolate life are like my go-to right now. Usually it's just plain Cheerios. The Cheerios are fucking amazing. Honestly, I think that's always gonna be my number one is plain Cheerios. But let me know what your favorite cereal is, like down below. What's like your favorite cheat meal too? Cause like, I think that's like the next two videos coming up. I'm having a fat cheat meal, I'm so excited. Yo, if you don't follow Alex Eubank, I'm sure all you fuckers do. <laughs> go, uh, go follow that man. That's up to his YouTube. Pump some great content, bro. Holy fuck. Bro, I gotta show you this shit too. But this next fucking Young LA drop, 
All right, so there's this drop. I think it's the 15th. Some fire shit, bro. There's some, like, really dope fucking sweatpants. They're not, like, the really dope ones that just recently dropped. It's, like, I don't know. They're kind of just more, like, relaxed, like, fucking, like, chill-looking sweats with, like, a strap at the bottom. Um, so fucking dope. Oh, bro, the Rocket Tanks. That's what I was wearing today. It's not those colors. Like, they're dropping new colors. Holy fuck, bro. Oh, the underwear, too. I've never had their underwear and shit. First time I ordered it. <laughs> Dude, I'm so excited for it. I'm looking this bitch clean right now. I know you see me rocking the drip tees. There's a new style of drip tee coming out. Holy fuck. Dude, I'm so excited for it. Really appreciate you guys watching the video. Um, let me know what you think about it. If you like the more like instructional, whatever the fuck you'd call this, let me know. Cause I don't know, I think it was fun filming it. So yeah, let me know in the comments. Uh, drop a like, like I said before. Uh, brain it still isn't working. And then yeah, if you ever wanna use, um, Grant, where the fuck are you? I need your help. Anything from Raw, Revive, and obviously fucking Young LA. Um, support your boy, use code Vaughn and send me that shit because I'm so fucking grateful when anybody sends me their order. Like, honestly, generally it makes me feel happy. So send me that shit. And yeah, appreciate you guys watching. Have a good one. Next video, banger. Later boys. And girls.